I've been an entrepreneur for about two decades now. And the thing that I always wanted was if I could just have this assistant come to every one of my meetings, track all the action items, hold everybody accountable, make it really easy for people to be able to share information across the company, whether those are just for internal meetings, customer meetings, and everything in between, that would be a game changer. And that's what we've built with Fellow. Do we want to get started and show everyone what Fellow is all about? Yeah, let's do it. The first thing that I want to show you is what the end result looks like. There's the fellow meeting assistant here, right? So that, that's part of our call. Fellow will just show up to your meetings. So this is the full video. And in addition to the full video, you're going to have the summary on the left right here. This summary is so good, you actually won't have to go to the meeting. Fellow summary is human level AI note taking. It's so good that once you read it, you can actually skip the whole meeting. It also has these timestamps. And as you click on one, it'll take you to exactly that part of the video. The action items from your meeting are gonna be put here on the left. And another really cool thing that you can do is you can click on the clip section and it makes it really easy for you to create clips from your videos. And once you do that, you can basically save those and then share the link to anyone you want. You can share it on Slack, MS teams by email. It makes it so much easier to share only the portion of the meeting that you need to with the people on your team. The clips end up here. There's also the full transcript of the conversation. You can search through it here. One of the things that really differentiates Fellow is how much we care about privacy and security. There's a lot of functionality in Fellow to make it very comfortable for everybody who's in a meeting with Fellow to be able to know that only the things that they want go on the record. One of these things is redaction. So say the meeting is over and there's a portion of the recording that you just don't want on the record. You can select that material, you can press redact, and as soon as you do, if you click on this redact feature, it'll just not only delete it from the transcript, it's going to delete it from the video, it's going to regenerate all the AI notes and make sure that it is gone, gone forever. This is if you remember after the fact. So you're probably wondering, okay, what if I remember something during the meeting and I wanna go off the record for a little bit, how do I do that? If you have Fellow open and your meeting is being recorded, what you'll notice is that there is a recording icon here. So if I click on this, what you'll be able to do is go to pause. And when you click on pause, the Fellow Copilot logo turns into a pause icon, right? And it also messages everybody so that they know that you are now off the record. If you wanna go back on the record, you can press resume and then there you go. And Fellow is back into note-taking mode. This gives people really the confidence to be able to invite Fellow to all the calls. So you have two options, either during the call you go on pause or after the call, you can go and redact the information that you need. So now you have Fellow going into a whole bunch of your meetings and then the question becomes, how do you organize this information? If you go to the library section in Fellow, you can create all of these channels. You can create a channel just by clicking this plus button and channels can either be private or they can be public. Private means that only the people who are in the channel can view those videos. Public is anybody in your workspace, people in your company can join those channels. So if I click on any one of these meetings, so this one in particular, you'll basically see the summary, the action items, any decisions that were made and full chapter breakdown. But one of the features that I love is if you click on this Ask Fellow Copilot feature, you're going to be able to ask Fellow any sort of questions about this meeting. And what's great about that is it's ChatGPT for your meetings. So one of the things that I like to do is to say something like, which features of the product were discussed. And so I can basically ask that question and it's gonna give me an answer. Some people are doing really clever things. So they're basically saying, hey, can you take all the features that were discussed or all the feature requests or all the objections or whatever it is, and can you create a memo or a document from this so I can share that with my team? A full AI interface for you to ask anything about the meeting and be able to take that content. You can copy it here and then paste it and send it to wherever you need to. So even things like create a follow-up email to the customer. And so a fellow will just do that. And of course you can give it a little bit more context, but even something basic like this makes it really easy for you to start and go. These are all public to our company, but we have some other ones too, right? For example, sometimes when we're interviewing a candidate, we'll have a channel, which will be interview for this role and all the interviews are there. And the people who need to see that information can see that information. So the sky's the limit in terms of what you can do here. Fellow becomes this hub for all your meeting information. So it's super powerful to use in that way. One of the things that you really wanna do is click on your profile picture and 
and go to the user settings. And once you get there, you wanna go to the apps and integrations. There's a lot in here, but some of the ones that I wanted to point out is we have integrations with all the different project management tools. So Fellow tracks all these action items for you. But if you manage your tasks elsewhere, then you can use Fellow's integrations to push those tasks into those other systems. So you use ClickUp Monday, Asana, Trello. If you use something else, you can use Zapier and get the information there in that way. We also have some CRM integrations. Generally, everybody hates updating their CRM, right? And so Fellow can do that for you. It will post all of the meeting information into your CRM, but it will actually individually update the fields. So if you had some super obscure field, you can actually type your own AI prompt and Fellow will process the call, figure out what the answer to that should be, and even update those kinds of fields. It really gives you the control. If sales, CSMs, customer interviews, whatever else you're doing, these integrations make a huge, huge difference. Now I kind of want to show you a little bit of the in-call experience. So if you have the desktop app, one of the things that you're able to do, and this is going to happen automatically when Fellow joins your meeting, is you're going to be able to go into companion mode. And companion mode looks like this. So you will have your video call on the left-hand side, and then you'll have fellow in companion mode on your right-hand side. And so this is really powerful because, Emily, one of the things that you'll be able to do is, again, have control over the pause and stop and everything like that. You also have the ability to have an agenda in place, right? So ideally, before the meeting, you have intro and discussion and whatever else you want. So as you're going through the meeting, you can basically run through the agenda and have this in place, but you also have something that we call Ask Fellow in the meeting too. If you click on this Ask Fellow icon at the top, you're going to be able to ask any questions. So for example, what has happened in this meeting? So I'll click on this and it'll answer that question. And by the way, you can obviously ask whatever you want during the meeting, but this is a really good way to interact with Fellow even as your meeting is live. Obviously, there's a lot more to Fellow, but now that you have the basics, play with Fellow make sure that you have the settings so that fellow can join all of your meetings. Once you have that on, as you have more questions, we have a great implementation team. Just reach out to us, real humans will respond and let's schedule some time with someone on our team, one of our meeting experts, and then we'll start to show you the more advanced things. But this is, I think, a good start, right, Emily? So true. Thank you so much, Aiden, for showing us all these fantastic features. I know that so many people are going to get so much value out of this and I'll catch you in our next demo together. All right. See you next time.